Hello, everyone. It's me, Angel. I have a. I am slightly tired, but we're here. We're free to free for. Woo. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, when we last left off, we just got into the game a little bit. Kind of got introduced into the main plot. There are five girls that were kidnapped back in the day when they were little babies. And they can't really remember what happened and why. But they feel... They feel like something's missing. Two of them died. And then three... The last three went to the island. And then one of them, you know, died again. So, we're here to figure out why. <laughs> why? Why did that happen? So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into it. I just have a question. Does anyone else feel like it should be later in the week? I woke up today thinking it was Thursday. It just feels weird. When we left off, we left. We were playing as Misaki. We'll play as Misaki some more. I also have some chalky milk with me. Alrighty. Now I have a question because of the way uh, this fatal frame works. My question is, are there items like randomly thrown about that I can pick up for a resupply? Because there would have to be. If I picked them all up as Ruka, then it'd be kind of fucking up the rest of the party. There's an item over here. I'ma get it. Gimme. Sick. I still don't know if this- Oh shit! We're not gonna talk about what that was. Y'all leave me alone. <laughs> Referred patient. Something's written on the paper. Note to all employees. A new patient, Ayako, has been admitted to room 207 of the Rogetsu Hall this weekend. Ayako is being referred by Dr. Hayabara. Therefore, we want to exercise the utmost care to make her stay at our institution as pleasant as possible. Everyone, please treat Ayako with the, great, with the greatest consideration. Like, I'll punch a shit, kid. <laughs> I'm just joking. Man, I love these angles. Stop watching me from... Stop watching me from the stairs. I just want to go see the kitchen to see if... Or, I guess the dining room. Let's see if there's any items. There's not an item here anymore. But I think that was a note anyway. The court's notes don't get uh, replenished. Blue crystal. We got out. I was just concerned with the music playing. What is this? What is happening? Oh my god, I thought the projector was a ghost spawning in. I don't see anything. Alright, never mind then. I guess we won't really be exploring. Because what I need to figure out is 
how do items work in uh, when you go through different characters in the same area and it's not resetting like Fatal Frame 3? Is it just you spawn items on my uh, current character's beaten path? Is that what what's gonna happen? I need to know. I'm trying to understand. What? Um, I, I, what? Huh? But I, but I came from here. But I, but I, but I came from here. I can see the courtyard with a lattice. But I, but I came from there. You can't block my way from. I thought that fire extinguisher was another doll. Well, I guess, um, make a good, made a, make a good thing out of a bad situation. We're just gonna go around and link back up to where I'm supposed to do plot. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> Nothing bad's happening. So we're just out here again. Um, I just need to... Yeah, if we go up to these stairs, we'll be at the second floor where I'm supposed to be. Yeah. It's all coming together. I, mean, I haven't fucked around with what was, whatever was over here. nothing apparently it's an elevator but I'm sure it doesn't work maybe an item spawned back here in this little crevice no I have the sniffles This place is so ominous. I really like this as a locale. What? What? I feel like I've- I feel like I fucked myself. Alright, there's one other option I have is to go down the stairs instead. We'll be able to try this door as well. Alright, so let's say I have to go down the stairs, uh, past the Dr. Osso Museum, to reset myself back where I'm supposed to go. I'm sorry, visible wall got me. Alright. This is fine. Everything will be fine. I just don't know what might happen. If I'm absolutely locked out, I'm gonna have to reset because that would just be a tentacle soft lock at this point. You know, I'm kind of intrigued actually. Since we're already over here. Let's see what happens if Misaki goes in here. This is also is visible. Do you say anything? Is this person Dr. Also? He had a zoomed in sequence, but nothing too out of out of the norm of oh yeah, an old folklore or whatever. Kids these days, I swear. Mm, care nothing for our history. No. Alright.
Why did I have a feeling that was going to happen? I was about to say that's probably a really- that's probably like one of the scarier uh, door opening sequences because you just see straight into Dream Mass. I was about to say that and then it just dropped anyway. Alright, we're back at it. I had to go around because the ghost said no to me. So that was a thing. We're just gonna stay on the on the path for you know progression. Because if I already kinda got fucked in one area, I'm a little worried. The door's locked. So, if we remember correctly, before I stopped playing, it said something about how the children like to play- make a game of finding the lock, uh, of writing down the code for the doors and putting that somewhere and hiding it. Oh, oh, is that what's gonna happen? I had to- I had to set the, uh, event that I tried to open the door. And now I- I can explore? I don't know. Nothing's happened. I have to find a code. But that just leads to the question, where do you want me to start? Because I tried the kitchen, nothing really happened. I tried, uh... I tried going to the second floor in general and nothing really happened. Like the other side, like the door over there, second floor. Nothing really happened. I'm gonna try in here again. See if I can't find- figure out, uh, a starting point. Apparently... Something. It's not up there. There's an item, but I need to illuminate it first. It's somewhere over here. Whoops. My mouse is not on the right screen. No, it's just this. Now we're gonna let me mess with it. I'm guessing we just have to look around and try to find a hidden object. That's my best bet. If there's not a ghost to follow... I need to dust my room. It's, it's hella sneezy times for me. All right, let's actually try to look around with uh, pure intent, with a goal. There's a doll, picture drawn by a child. Looks like it was a picture drawn in crayon. Looks like it was drawn by a child. A drawing of a clock. I saw this somewhere. I know where a clock is. Now I know where another doll is. Let's start over here. Look down. We're gonna get it. There we go. Alright, good. We're making progress after that little kerfuffle I had. Uh, 
Let's go. There's a clock over here. I like it because it's... Yeah, it's right there. I like it because it has the moon faces on it. The faces of the moon are on the face of the old-fashioned clock rather than numbers. There are strange gashes across the base. I feel a strong presence. If I take a picture if I with this camera... Look, this camera is said to have mystical powers. The code is eight three nine five. Eight three nine five. Cool. Let's save just in case there's a ghost fight. I don't know, with how fast Madoka was as a boss, I'm a little concerned that this game is going to catch me off guard, especially since I'm not playing it with, like, necessarily the... <laughs> the items it was designed for. I, I'm really close, but it's not... 100% on the mark, so. I have to keep in mind that I need to take this a little bit slower for me to get used to it until I become a professional uh, keyboard and mouse Fatal Frame 4 player. <laughs> oh shit! Like that! Ah, oh, damn it, it was just a picture. I thought it was a fight. That was good. Thank you. I like I like being spooked. Why do you think I love these games? I fucking love it. I fucking love spookies. Alright. Open and close are written here. These dials properly adjust the numbers. So, what? No. Uh, twist the Wii Remote. Shake the Wii Remote is all I got. Eight. We gotta go down, guys. I'm sorry. Three, nine, four. Oh, I thought it was a four. Well, fuck me, I guess. Door to the second floor ward opened. I'm gonna twist the Wii remote. I only, I only had shake, brother. Yes. I understand. Sick, three hit combo. I was a little scared because I've noticed something. Um, when I lock onto the ghost, I don't think I can move. I'm not sure if I would be able to if I actually had a Wii mode and nunchuck, but unlike Fatal Frame 5 when I lock on, I can't move around. I can't move my character, so. I have to focus super hard on making sure I get the fatal frames because if I miss them, they just get a free hit. So I don't remember which room was Misaki's. Ugh, hold on. Of course this is gonna happen today.
sorry about that. I have family members that when they have a package, they want it no as soon as it's there. Um, what is happening? This door still does not have a knob. Is this what I'm... That voice, was it Madoka? I don't know. I don't know where my mouse is. It was not on my screen! The door is locked. That's not good. I don't want to be too teamed. I don't want to be too teamed. No! Turn around, turn around, turn around! I, oh my god, I'm not- I don't have my fucking mouse on the right screen. I don't want to be too teamed. I want space. Jesus. I need to keep on moving back. No, I made a mistake. Oh god. She was right there! Ah! No, don't grab me too! That's one out. I can focus. Oh yeah, you're not fun to look at, sweetie. Oh my god, what did she do? She's right there. I'm waiting. Oh, you have the same attack animations, okay. Alright, we're good. Oh, we have to go into the room where Masak- where Madoka fought Ruka. Something appeared. Where is this? There's so many books. I'm sorry. Did it look like the camera tilted a little bit? Or am I, am I going crazy? I think I'm going crazy. Also, there's something else. Oh. Oh, that's not fun.
woman hanging by neck. Maybe if I had a better uh, shot of the, the, you know, the thing down there. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Female patient's note. A letter fell from out of the crack in the door. When you see this, I will no longer be in this world. When my mother gave birth to me, she died in order to let me live, to protect me. My father and brother died in an accident to protect me. What kept me alive after their deaths is the memory I have of them, and the terrible like, guilt terrible guilt I feel for still being alive. This illness is robbing me of even that. The family that only existed in my memory is slowly killing is slowly killed off. I can't take it anymore. Living while slowly losing the memories of those people who are dearest to me. Still the most frightening thing is losing the guilt I feel. I am not afraid of killing my family once again. I will leave this world with what little memories I have left. As long as I am still me. Bruh. Wow, that was a rough one. You know, this door looked barred when I was fighting. Yeah, I can go in. I hope I have there's some items in here. I don't see anything. Nothing's showing up on the f when I pan the camera or fucking flashlight around, so. We're gonna get out of the creepy little kid room. Okay, so. I originally tried going into this room prior, but now the objective tells us to, so. Let's see what's gonna happen. And now with the way that this game is formatted. No autosaves and shit like that. Girl standing on stairs. What are you looking down at? Nothing, right? Hopefully? I didn't see anything on the floor. I hope nothing bad happened with you looking down the stairs like a creepo. Anyway, I was just gonna say we need to save more periodically because this game looks like it might be harder on me. All right, let's get to it. We gotta go to the museum. Woo. Oh, no wonder the mask fell, and now it's gone. Now it's back on. Who put it back on? Who put the mask back there? Spooky. Nothing spawned in the room still. Just making sure. I really feel the sneeze coming in. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Let's get it done. <laughs> Pressure. Sick. <laughs> like, see, that's a way faster animation than in Fatal Frame 5. Alright, I don't see anyone in here. Nothing wrong is happening. There's an altar above the masks. The various masks with various various facial expressions are lined up. The names are below each each mask. The names are probably the names of the mask maker. You're the mask maker. There's a lot of books. The bookshelf is filled with books all lined up. 
Memory and personality. Forgetting death. They seem to be about books regarding the mind and memory. Yeah. Do they all have something flavor text? Kind of. Mask resembling spirits. Death, mask, folklore. They seem to be books about masks. <laughs> eh. There we go. Nothing on those. The words Rogetsu Island stand out. It seems to be a book written about the island's history. What about this one? Same thing. I think these are... Yeah, these books look like they're just... Assets. Impossible things, a dead body spirit. They seem like academic journals. I'm just trying to say the ones lined up with all the same texture. They seem like they're only meant to be there so that Madoka could knock them down and scare the shit out of me. Music and memory, the possibility of possibility of music therapy. They seem like academic journals. Landscape of the memory, at the source of the soul, they seem like academic journals. And I'm guessing this might be, be the same thing. Yeah. Alright. So, I... I was trying to avoid pain. I said avoid pain, motherfucker! Get away from me! Ah! Nope, back up, 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 back up! What's happening? I don't know what this means. I don't like it. I can hear him. He's behind me. I don't like it. What? What? Listen, creepo. Ain't no one want to be touched. All right. I can at least step backwards so I can wait for them to do the uh, do the animation and start stepping back for some safety. It's alright. It's alright, Madoka. We got this. We got this. I'm getting better. Purified moon room key. This is the key to the room Madoka entered. Alright. Bet. We got it. I'm trying to make sure my mouse is over here. There we go. Because I can't see it all the time. You can see that it slowly- it sometimes disappears. I'm sorry, is there handprints? No, there's... No, it looks like some of those are handprints. I'm leaving. We are not playing in here. It's a boring room. I said a boring room! Woman standing before masks. And what the fuck is up with your face? What, do you want me to investigate? Oh, you do? Eh. Black mask figment fragment left eye. Something like a piece of wood fell. Dr. Also's mask inquiry. Notes about a black mask. On this island, there is a kagata during the lunar eclipse. On the day of the lunar eclipse, the minds of the living lean towards death, and the souls of the dead come forth from the gate of the underworld. The moon symbolizes the soul on this island, and it is thought that the lunar eclipse eats away the, at the soul. In literature I read, it mentioned a mask called the Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Name drop. Pardon me. Uh, that was once used in the festival of this island. There is some old fragment. Oh, there is some very old fragmented literature about the black mass that caused disaster, the day without suffering, long ago. 
a day without suffering? Wouldn't that be a good thing? Not a bad thing. I'm gonna drink some chalky milk. I tried asking the head of a very, of a influential island family about it, but he wouldn't tell me anything, and his facial expression was one of a terrible fright. On this island, touching that mask is considered serious taboo. <laughs> Ugh. Even though it's risky to offend the islanders, I want to see it with my own eyes, to examine it myself. Perhaps if it is a powerful clue... Perhaps it is a powerful clue which will lead to the other world. I'm sorry, I have been really bad at reading these. Yeah, something something about like all the reading I've been doing recently has just made my tongue absolutely tight no matter what time of day it is. Oh, I don't like this camera angle. 